at the uh, venue for us. Uh, Nicole, I've been looking forward to talking to you since the floor exercise program of the convention <laughs> this afternoon. Were you, were you surprised? I wasn't surprised, but you know, I feel like we're in the trees already, and I just have to like spend a minute in the forest. We come into this convention, and I've brought a couple of candidates into their conventions with months and months of painstakingly detailed planning going into what they do coming into the convention, the program plan, the VP pick kept secret with decoy planes flown from Alaska and whatnot. Donald Trump comes in this convention having stepped on the single best attack against Hillary Clinton that we're likely to hear between now and November from the non-political director of the FBI. Donald Trump bungled and publicly wrung his hands in the process of selecting a running mate. He then interrupted said running mate more times than was comfortable for anyone I know to watch on the 60 Minutes interview last night. They came in today. The campaign manager trashed John Kasich, the Ohio governor who is beloved. And Donald Trump is still close to tied with Hillary Clinton in the battleground states. So I know all of this matters, but the bigger picture is that despite all of his many, many, many weaknesses as a candidate, he is still in this thing. Nicole, uh, Nicole I'm sorry. Pat. No, I was just going to say on the upside, Nicole has come so far in her therapy. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You're worth every penny. I highly recommend it. I've been giving out numbers. All my Republican friends want to know how I've come to terms with this so easily. But as you've told America, I've been in therapy for 10 months. Oh, Nicole, we've had enough <laughs> noontime glasses of wine with you to know exactly how your therapy has been going. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me ask you, though, with that analysis that you just gave about all the things that Donald Trump and his campaign are doing wrong, all the opportunities they're squandering, all the good stuff they've got going on that they're throwing away through their own acts, does that make you just Spare as a political professional. That may be political professionalism, the, the nuts and bolts of campaigning, this whole industry that you were part of for so long, that it doesn't matter anymore. Oh, I mean, I've, I've been saying this for weeks. Donald Trump has won the nomination without someone who had my title, without someone who had Ken Melman, very respected former RNC chair, but before that was the Bush Cheney campaign manager. Donald Trump has achieved. Um, uh, incredible success without any of the people that do the normal jobs in politics simply with one of these and his Twitter account. So it, it, it raises a lot of questions about what is needed. And if he beats Hillary Clinton doing it his way, it will forever change politics in this country. Uh, because feel is important and all of these uh, feel different and you've been to your share of conventions, how does it feel so far to be there? I mean, it's surreal. Everyone I know who's part of the kind of uh, unemployment act that Rachel Maddow just described, <laughs> we, we, we all are, are dismayed that Paul Manafort went out on the morning shows this morning. He did a, a, a full round of shows in which he called John Kasich an embarrassment. I cannot tell you how catastrophic that would be for anybody not working for the Trump campaign. The Kasich campaign fired back, they said. You know, they, they, they said they're proud. You know, John Kasich was at an NAACP convention doing something honorable. Manafort came right back at him. I mean, it's, it's like watching something out of a movie. But if you tried to make a movie out of it, they'd send you out of there laughing and say that would never happen. Nicole Wallace, as the music plays you off stage, we'll be going back to you throughout the night and perhaps uh, th throughout the days to come. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.